Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Yvonne East and I'm artist in residence at Blackwood High School. It's 2010, uh, it's December, I've been here pretty much most of November and we've been working on the Four Seasons mural which is going up on the Year 8 stairwell in 2011 for the 50 year celebrations for Blackwood High. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit uh, about uh, how all the images came together. Um, trying to get an image onto the canvas, it's, uh, I'd like to dem demystify it a little bit. So what happened was that I came in and took photos of uh, about 15 different students. I didn't know exactly which students I was going to use. And what I did is I took them over to Round by the Drama Department and we set them up on blocks. We had the drum blocks and set them all up so I could actually get the angles. All the angles of the faces are actually matched up where you're going to see them on the final wall. Uh, I took the photographs so that you would be seeing them from the right angle when you were standing on the ground. So we took all the shots of the angles and the, uh, from the angles and the students were, were really great and, and good fun. I took all those home and, uh, well here's an example, so this is Maddie. So I took a photo of her sitting up on the blocks. Uh, I took all these images home and then did uh, different sketches and treatments of them. So you can see here's a sketch of Maddie. And from these sketches I then looked at the composition and I used Photoshop and different layers in Photoshop to move the different drawings around so I could look at compositionally how they would all work together. Um, leaving that open for the um, uh, for interpretation, as we as we kind of go through the process, we could add and subtract things and include other things. Um, but the general plan was there. So with this painting of Maddie from here, we actually got the drawing onto the computer. We projected it onto the board, and you can actually see Maddie's right behind me here. We projected the outline, then we did the underpainting in complementary colours, so that's the opposite colour on the colour wheel to the final colour. You can see in here there's a few little bits of orangey-brown coming through from behind the green, so that's the original underpainting we used. And then from there, once we had the outline traced, um, I painted on the features and and all that kind of thing, and, um, and there we have the finished work. So um, that happened with all the different, all the students. With the garden ones, again, all the photos were taken from the garden just outside the art studio here. It's a community garden, so it's really important to reflect the, uh, those things up in the mural. And I have the ravens over here. If you want to pan around, Amish, just a little bit. So this is the uh, ravens or crows that are a, a very prominent feature in the gardens here. And again, I sat out there with a the camera. Um, it took about 40 minutes. I sat out there very, very quietly because they're quite shy animals and uh, just with a few crackers. And they eventually came up and I took some photographs of them. From the photographs, I did drawings. Again, you can see here's the sketch that I used. And, um, and from there, we create, we do the background layer and then we projected the image over the top and painted the image. Um, so that's about it from as far as the process of getting it from idea onto the boards. Thanks. Cheers. Should you just do a like? So this is panning around the studio. This is the last day of painting. And you can see there's still a bit of mess around, but most of the works are pretty much finished. And we're just documenting all the hard work that we've done and all the great work that the girls have done. <laughs>